All right, welcome back everyone to another Texan video. Let's continue with the FPS uh, game. And this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a spaceship to the game. No, we're not going to drive it. It's just going to, well, drop the player off and it'll fly away and disappear. And I'll show you another example from my game I'm currently working on. So as you can see, the player is over there. I click the player because I have to focus. And let's add the ship first. Now, uh, go to Objects, uh, Passenger Ship, Passenger Ship, okay, the model. Set the scale factor to 1. It's in 0 0.01, because if I put it to 1, then my other game, the ship will appear huge. So that's why I can't touch it. But set yours to scale factor 1. As for me, I have to go to scale and just scale this size bigger. Okay, oh, I can see the inside. Just move it a little up move the ship above him. Now we're gonna add some animation to the ship. So to add animation, this could also work with other objects as well. Uh, select the object, window, animation. Here you get this window where you can uh, add keyframes and do the animation. So click that red record button and it'll ask you where you want to save your new animation. I'll just name it fly. I'll replace it. Okay. And now whatever the changes you make, it will insert a new keyframe. So uh, let's add a keyframe right at the beginning where the ship is like moving a little forward and then again around here, right there. It rotates a bit. Let me just move the camera. There you go. Just continue like that. Make sure you know what timing you're doing. We'll do this up to like four seconds or something. Okay, let me just zoom out. Okay, so uh, let's just stop at four seconds. And then at around four, third, uh, four and a half seconds, the ship starts moving a little bit back and it's leaning forward. That means it's getting ready, ready to start. And one second later, it moves like this. Yeah, I know, it looks like it's going down. So we have to move it a little up. We'll tape this. Okay. And about another second later, it's going to move forward. We'll tape this a bit up. It's going high in the air. Now you must move it to a point where you don't see it. Not sure how to make it disappear, but I did that earlier, so let's move it here. So see, the object is over there. And then another few seconds later, it's going to move way far. Okay, so once we're done, we can preview the animation by clicking the play button, or just, just go back. I'll focus over there on the scene view, play. So keep tapping F if you want to follow it. So there you go. I'm just going to stop that. And once you're done, we're going to close it. Now your animation should appear in the project view, see, fly. Uh, and then after that, if you want to loop, if you want to loop the animation, if the ship is flying around, <coughs> select the animation on the wrap mode. You're gonna select loop, so it'll continuously do the animation. So I'm gonna select the passenger ship, and you see the animation component. Although fly is already enabled, we have to set the main animation. So click that drop down menu and select your animation, fly, or drag the animation 
uh, object into the animation variable. And let's begin. So let's test it. Let's quickly move back. The animation is going on, see? As you can see, it moves out really quick. And I've got a bunch of enemies to deal with. Now let me show you my game and, and I'll show you what I did. I'm going to open scene. I'll save this one for later. Uh, yes. There you go. Okay. So let me just focus on the player. I've added some wa water um, in the game. I'll just focus on it. Okay, so there is the ship. And this is what it should do. I click play. It'll take a some time to get this one, this back. Goes back. Goes back. Buy that. And that's also another animation I've added. There's another rocket we did not notice, which is this one. I'll select the rocket. Now this one is continuously going on because it's flying around the island. So if I just double click the animation, the wrap mode is set to loop. So it'll continuously go on. So let's um, go to window animation. And as you can see, I've set the keyframes for this one as well. Now you may be thinking this looks complicated, but it's not complicated. So let's click play. Let me just set the camera to behind it. I click play. If you can just see, it's just going to fly around the island. Then it turns. The, you can see there's some more ships over there. And there you go. It just stops and continuously goes round. So um, there you go. It goes back. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, did watch it, subscribe for more. So thanks for watching and have a great day.